Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, welcome back with me, Dina Sainia And how are you guys? Hopefully everything is fine Okay guys, according to the thumbnail you have seen up I want to give you some tips how do we speak fluent English Okay guys, English is the most widely spoken language in the world Currently English is one of the languages studied in almost all educational institutions in the world Including Indonesia we often encounter the use of English in our daily life. Therefore, we need to learn English from an early age. But have you ever felt that you are not fluent in English even though you have studied for years? Oh, how do you become fluent in English? Okay, come on, see the following tips. But guys, English is an international language because it is one of the oldest languages in the world. English is oriented in Britannian in the 8th century. The development of English vocabulary is also very fast. Okay, if you want to be able to quickly learn English by self, to our example, you are on a vacation and want to spend time studying English, according to Mardikado.com, there is a way to be fluent in English. The first is learn basic English word first. Before you start implementing the habit of speaking English, it is a good idea to first learn simple words in English, which are often used in everyday conversation. Use in everyday conversation like the pronouns I, you, he, and other words that are commonly used in everyday conversation. Number 2. Often listen to English song and write the lyrics in the age of technology. It is certainly easy for you to download English song. If you are music lovers, of course, learning while listening to music is very fun for you. Including me. Okay, at this stage, you don't just listen to the song, but listen carefully to the lyrics and then record them in your notes or gadgets. After you finish writing the song lyrics, check the lyrics on internet. Are all alright or something wrong? Number three. Often read English literature well written. Reading is not a habit for most Indonesians, but of course, even if you don't like it, you still have to start learning to read any literature in English. This will improve your reading skill, of course. Number four, learn the meaning of an English word that you don't understand and then memorize it. If while listening to music, watching movie and reading in English and you come across origin words that you don't understand, don't just keep it. Record and memorize. This is one of the easy ways to learn English. Number five, learn to speak English in the mirror. Well, before you start talking to other people in English, it is a good idea to learn to speak English in front of a mirror so that you are fluent and not clumsy. Okay guys, seeing from modern technological advances, we can use it more like an example. According to ruangguru.com, another effective to be able to learn English is to learn to speak English fluently. So first is learn from the movie. Yep, learn from the movie. Who likes watching movie? <laughs> well, when watching a movie, try it. You guys check the subtitle text. If you watch Indonesian films, try adding English subtitles. On the other hand, if you watching Western film, you can add subtitle Indonesian. <laughs> what is the fun question? Anyway, when you watch a movie, you can listen and read the subtitle where you are watching. The combination of these two skills can help you translate word for word. You can also listen to podcasts in English. This will help you get used to listening to English vocabulary. Number two, use hobbies as a means of conversation. Yeah, you can use your hobby to interact with people who are good in English. If you like playing games like Mobile Legend, PUBG, Among Us, or each other, join a forum that contains a group of English-speaking outsiders. In addition, you can try to start talking in English with your family or close friend. Even if you are not fluent, you don't have to worry, you don't have to worry. The more you practice, the more slowly you will get used to and fluently speaking English. 
Number three, use your phone. Use your phone, of course. The average of us spend a lot of time with cell phones or other electronic devices. Try to change the language setting of your cell phone or electronic device to English so that notification that appear you will be received in English. The same goes for you browser and social media. If you use Google Chrome, you can add English as a translator. That way, you can understand the page you are looking for using English and then you can translate it. You can translate it into Indonesia. Number four, practice in front of the mirror. With often not confident when speaking in English, let's admit it. Surely, you are often nervous and nervous when you speak in English. Well, the solution is that you have to be diligent in practicing in front of the mirror. Front of the mirror, guys. Even though you are still streaming, don't be afraid. The more you practice, the more fluency your speaking skill will be and you will no longer be nervous when it comes to speaking in English. Number five, find someone to talk to in addition to practicing yourself in front of a mirror. You can practice your speaking skill with friends who have the same level or even higher than you. You can start with an introduction, then ask question, or you can answer the question of Start with something simple. Don't expect to have a full conversation. In the beginning, take this slowly. You can also talk to people or relatives who don't understand English. You will have experience speaking but there is no pressure when you make mistakes in speaking. Okay guys, those are tips from me and some search that I trusted. It's really worth it for you to learn an easy but simple way to speak English fluently. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Hopefully the tips are useful. Stay positive, stay healthy, and bye! Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh!